Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Cities VR Overview. The day that this game releases, I'm actually on a vacation in Italy. Whether I'll manage to record it in the hotel or a few days later in my studio, you'll find out in the beginning of the gameplay. It's just so fun thinking in the future that it won't really matter where I am in the world, I'll be able to make videos nonetheless, I just need a proper internet and the life can move on as usual. So Cities VR is an adaptation of a flat screen project Cities Skylines, which is essentially a management and city building simulator. At the moment, of arriving to the store is gonna be the first serious title of the genre, though in the past I've had an experience with something similar called Daisy, and it was so addicting and just fun in general that I wonder if it's gonna translate to Cities VR as well. Right off the bat I can tell the graphics look the crunchiest it could ever be, and I know exactly the reason why. It's just with games like that, there's a lot of things going on and it doesn't really matter that it's not like in your face. The whole background takes an insane amount of processing power. That's purely why, for example, Daisy had really basic textures and animations the more your world grows, the more there is to handle. Aside from that, I've never tried Skylines on PC. I'm kind of familiar with it, but purely because of some YouTubers and memes around it. I'm not necessarily the person to spend long hours in VR nowadays, and with projects like that, you kind of have to, in order to grasp the whole system of features and mechanics. My only question is if it's gonna be fun. If you'll enjoy yourself, then you won't even notice how long you're spending in the game. You just keep going and going. And that's basically it. Like, will Skylines experience properly translates to to VR for us. Let's go build something and find out where I am. So long story short, I just couldn't record anything in Italy. I'm back at home doing my usual thing and that's pretty much it. I guess welcome back me. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting down for this overview simply because I feel like that could be the most natural way of playing it. Also, I see other projects of fast travel games. <laughs> that's so cute. The video arrives kinda late on the channel, but let's just see what's up with this. Like I mentioned, I almost know nothing about Skylines. So let's do the tutorial, maybe on the Green Meadows. I don't know. <laughs> Congrats on finding your new city. Oh, what the? The perspective is so weird. We use joystick to move around. So I'm still like in the god mode, though everything seems too big. Can I like zoom out? Toggle view. Yeah, that's better. Hold left grip to open up the tools palette. Create a selection of road that connects to your new city from the freeway. I need music to gently calm down. Hey, stop blocking my view. <laughs> I can't build. So we just build the road to somewhere. I don't know. Cool. Select zoning. What's that? Highlight some unzoned land next to one of your new roads and place a low density residential zone. Like a suburbs or something? So for example this whole area. The music is still too loud. <laughs> to view information about your city, turn the controller. Right. Pausing time. I'm pausing. Oh my god, it's so much to do. <laughs> I wish I could select things just from the palette like that. It's just much more intuitive, not just pressing buttons. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Are people arriving? What's going on with the frame rate as well? Build a wind turbine or coal power plant. Let's be maybe ecological and maybe somewhere on the mountain. Yeah, that makes sense. Electricity will move from building to building within the blue areas or you can build power lines to transfer it over great distances. So if I'll do something like that... Oh my god. Tutorial? <laughs> For example like that. Is it enough? Or maybe I have to place on the blue area. I think it doesn't work. <laughs> like literally, I'm looking at the tutorial. I did... Just that. What? I didn't do anything and it confirmed anyways. I guess you all need water. It's literally night time. <laughs> so let's do pumping station somewhere here. And I guess the water has to go somewhere. <laughs> in the same area. Mm. I mean, I'm doing something. Okay. Oh, they need electricity as well? God damn it. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. I guess it's not electricity, it has to go through the whole area. It's underground anyway, so yeah. Apparently y'all don't like it, so have a water tower, see if I care. What the hell y'all want from me? <laughs> Okay, finally. <laughs> the zonic demand bars. Yes, I know I connected to the same water. What about it? So I guess I'm gonna put this zone here, if I even can. Let me just erase that and place a new one. Cool. Oh, now commercial zone. <laughs> Damn it. 
Fine, have something to eat. Statistic slums. <laughs> That's too much. Hey, I finished the tutorial. Finally, this annoying window disappeared. Okay, fine, I'll change the switch. I guess it's somewhere outside, but there's less city limit, so. On land, sure. Okay. I think things will flow. Just some electricity. Alright. Oh, what the? What happened here? Oh, because there's no buildings, there's no connection. <laughs> they should be connected now. Yay! Progress, even though I'm losing money. But at least they're happy. <laughs> so let me build a large road to connect somewhere. And it's gonna be like a city center. Fully shopping and stuff. And the other way to work. I think something's going on here. <laughs> though I can't tell because the textures just are atrocious. Oh yeah, this thing. I should like tilt it or something. I don't know how you can make a game with just disappearing stuff. Like <laughs> what's going on here? Can I like turn it somehow? Okay, with a grip button, but no one really told me that before. No video. <laughs> I have no money. I mean, things are happening for the worse or for the better. The population is growing, the economy is growing. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> Yo, I have no money for sewage. Just go shit in the woods. Or at work, like a normal person. Maybe I should sell something, then it's gonna work. Oh, I don't get money? Hmm, yeah, there's definitely too much expenses here. <laughs> but that's a good idea. Just do the water pipes along the roads. Yeah, mm, I tried to change things, but I screwed up so much in the tutorial and I can't really recover from it. But really, it takes time to just get a hold of things and creating something from ground up. Overall, I see the potential of having fun here. You just need to know what you're doing, get the basics of electricity, water, stuff like that, and then kind of go from there. I honestly thought the graphics would be kind of like, you know, a detriment to the game, but you don't really notice that in the grand scheme of things. You're just too busy managing the city. And creating your own chaos. I think my problem is that the control scheme and just the selections are kinda garbage and not really VR friendly. You select stuff from the buttons from the palette but it has nothing to do with the headset itself. You just sit around, just see things and that's all in terms of VR. Something better would be just like placing buildings with your own hand and have kinda like a godlike interactions. This to me is just Skylines in 3D. It works and it is what it is. I just don't really see the innovation of it all. Will I be playing it more? I mean, I'm not really that kind of player. It might be a little bit too complicated for me. I feel like you have to be an actual enthusiast of the genre to enjoy.